You're watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, what you need to know if you're considering a tummy tuck. With us, uh, we have board certified plastic surgeon and he's known for a natural looking tummy tuck with low incisions, Dr. Grant Stevens. Dr. Stevens, welcome to the program. Thank you, Andy. It's great to be here. Uh, now, for people that don't know you, but I guess in the LA market, everybody knows you. You're all over the news. You're on the Dr. Phil show. You're on the evening news. So tummy tuck, popular procedure? Very popular, very popular. Women have kids. They love their children, but they don't like the after effects. They don't like the skin and fat. And frankly, they can't get rid of it any other way. Okay, so who's, when is it a tummy tuck case and not just liposuction? That's easy, Randy. If a person just has extra fat and no extra skin and their muscles aren't spread out, they're a perfect candidate for liposuction or cool sculpting, freeze the fat. So you say when their muscles have not spread out. What do you mean by that? Well, when you look at the effects of a pregnancy on an abdomen, we have three things we look at. Extra skin to make uh, space for the baby, extra fat, part of getting pregnant, and then the, the muscles oftentimes spread out. Now, if a woman's lucky and the muscles don't spread out or they come back, and if she's lucky and she didn't get a whole lot of extra skin, then she is a good candidate potentially for liposuction or cool sculpting to freeze the fat. But that's not the majority of people. Most women, after having one or multiple kids, will have extra skin along with that extra fat, and many will have a splaying out or, or a movement of the muscles to side to side, so they have that mommy tummy, that mommy so bulge. So it just goes out a little bit. Yeah. Even if they're not fat, it may poke right. out a little bit. And women come in and they say, you know, I don't want people asking me when am I due, when they're not really? even they pregnant. Really? They say that? Oh, absolutely. Or, the, you know, they want to wear a two-piece and they're stuck wearing a one piece because they're trying to hide you know, the extra skin or the, the pouch around their belly buttons. And so, it's really common, and that's the thing. A lot of women come in and they think they're the Lone Ranger. They think they're the mean? only person that had one child and has this blown out abdomen, this blown out tummy. In fact, the majority of women, even after one, even in their 20s or 30s, we're not talking about people that have had four, five, and six kids in their 40s and 50 years old. We have women in their 20s and 30s who've had one or maybe two children. They love their babies, they love their children, but they hate their bodies. And they want to wear a bathing suit, they want to wear a crop top, they want to show off their abdomen, and they can't because stretch marks are everywhere. How much, I mean, you could get rid of stretch marks. Absolutely. When we do a tummy tuck, we're very mindful of their bikinis. We, I have them wear their bikini bottom. I mark their favorite bikini bottom on. And most of the time they say, I'll never wear a bikini. Yeah. And I say, if you don't wear a bikini when I'm done, then I didn't do my job. And I say that over and over. I say, I want a picture of you in your bikini when you're healed. I want you to send me a picture with you and your husband on a holiday or at the pool or whatnot. Because if you're not wearing a bikini, I didn't do my job. So, we so they're back in the bikini. Absolutely. We mark the bikini. That defines how low the incision is going to go. Because we want the incision to be hidden. Right. There's this whole urban legend that somehow tummy tuck incisions are visible. We can hide them. So then we cut out all the stretch marks all the way up above the belly button. What's your, what's your record? Like how, how many? How oh, many? We routinely move 10, 11 inches of vertical height. from the stretch marks? From the pubic area up above the belly button. Absolutely. Now, some people only have seven or eight. Don't get me wrong. Not everybody yeah. has that much, but you ask my record. And then sometimes they, we go hip to hip. Sometimes it's less. Everyone says, how long is your incision going to be? And I say, I don't decide. You decide. And what I mean by that is I have the woman bend over and look in the mirror and see where the tummy starts. And then I have her stand up. I said, okay, do it again. Bend over. I put a little magic marker. That's where it's going to stop. I don't somehow decide arbitrarily that your wife's going to be this big and my wife's going to be this big. We let every woman's own body decide because we want her to look beautiful. We want to hide the incisions and want her back in that bikini. You say that you do tummy tucks a little bit differently than most plastic surgeons. Mm -hmm. Well, we have a few things that we do differently. Number one, we don't use any drains. We do drainless tummy tucks, so we don't have to worry about that painful day where you remove the drains. And everybody's afraid of that painful drain removal day. But that's not the whole story. We also then eliminate the husband or the caregiver measuring the blood and so forth coming out so of the So drains drain. is part of most tummy tucks that go on across the country. Absolutely. And what is a drain, by the way? Well, it's the I mean, drains. Do women know about this? Oftentimes, it's a little secret that they're not told about, I okay. find. But uh, 
but for the most part, I think they hear about it. And what's, it's what actually causes some women not to have the procedure. When we started letting people know that we do drain-free, drain-less tummy tucks, we had a lot more patients coming in asking for the procedure. And um, it's not just about the pain of removing it. It's also the hassle of taking care of it, emptying it, dra- walking around with these little grenades underneath your dressing. All that. Well, so you have over- to wear them for how long, these drains? A week typically. to 10 days. Wow. We've eliminated them entirely. We also don't use any stitches. All the stitches are on the inside. So there's no stitch removal. There's no Frankenstein marks. There's no stitch marks. Everything's done with dissolving sutures that are under the skin. So we have a piece of tape on your tummy. No drains. You look down the next day. It's a little swollen, but that's pretty much what you're going to get. You're going to actually look better because we do liposculpture before we close. So with our tummy tucks, We'll add a little liposculpture just to give you the abdominal etching, uh, that beautiful hourglass figure, and just make everything smooth. So what percentage would you say, as an estimate, the plastic surgeons across the country that are doing it this way? Drain fee, tummy tucks, probably 10 to 15% across the country. I'm sure there's pockets where they're more prevalent. You do these? I do them every and day. And you teach other guy, guys We teach to the do residents. Them. We teach the fellows. They're very, very common procedure. And like I said, we combine them the tummy tucks with breast surgery or facial surgery. Uh, it's not unusual. And there's a lot of urban myth and urban legend about tummy tucks. You hear it all the time. Oh, it's the worst procedure I've ever had. Oh, uh, it's painful and so forth. I do hundreds and hundreds of these every year. And women thank me. And they wear their bikinis. They feel pretty. They're youthful. Okay. They're, they look skinny. And they're very happy. Here's another thing. What's you that? told me that their partners will come in mm-hmm. on the consult sometimes mm-hmm. and say... Why not just go to the gym? Oh, yeah. Why not just work it off at the gym? That's a real common one. We'll get what the husband. What do hus- you say to that? Well, first of all, the husbands will say, you know, honey, I want my bass boat, and we don't need to be buying you your tummy tuck. <laughs> uh, and they'll say, just go to the gym. Get a gym membership. Lose weight, and you'll get a flat tummy. And guys don't get it. It's not just about losing weight. Your wife or your girlfriend can lose weight, but you're going to have extra skin because that skin was there to make room for the baby. Hmm. And the muscles stretch out, and there's no gym, and there's no trainer who can make skin go away. And frankly, you can't move muscles back to the middle either. So if you have extra skin, if you have a blown out abdominal wall, if those muscles of your abdomen are spread, you're going to need a tummy tuck if you want a flat stomach. Now, I'm not saying tummy tucks are for everybody. Some people want to live the rest of their life in one-piece bathing suit and a big, paunchy tummy. But most people don't want that. Okay, so I understand. Blown out. You're using terms like blown out uh, tummy or abdomen. So that six-pack, right? Yes. So with pregnancy, like, it comes apart? Yes. The muscles come right. apart. The and you what, growing. sew it back together? Mm-hmm. Tighten it like we a girdle? tighten it back together like a girdle. We don't cut anything. A lot of people think we cut stuff. We don't. We just move those muscles right back to the middle where they were before you had a pregnancy. So that side profile view, that the, is the flat. The baby bulge is gone. It's flat. And that's what we do deep. That's what we do on the inside. Then we get rid of the extra skin, the stretch marks, that extra skin. And then we do whatever lipos contouring, lipos sculpturing at the very close. You know, my patients want to look terrific. They want to look fit. They work hard. A lot of these women spend a lot of time at the gym already. These are, these are women that are working at it. And they want to wear that little black, black dress. They want to wear that bikini and so forth. And these surgeries are life-changing, truly life-altering surgeries. They restore their confidence. They tuck in their blouses for the first time in years. They wear crop tops. They wear low hip, hip, hip huggers, uh, and they wear that sexy little black dress when they go out with their husband. I'm telling you, Randy, these are life-altering procedures. So it's like transform. I mean, do you see changes? You told me this. The changes changes in, in their personality when they come their, back? Their confidence, their personality. Really? Good. We, you know, we may be operating on the skin. We may be operating on their abdomen, but we're really operating between their ears here because it gives them a renewed sense of self-confidence and, uh, and off they go. It changes everything. Do people have triggers that finally, like, they've had enough of something and then they come in? Yeah. Like, on the consults, also a two-part question. So, what are those triggers and what do they ask every time on a tummy tuck consult? Well, oh, boy. I could speak for hours to that. What are the triggers? Sometimes it's the person that finally, it says, so when are you expecting? And they've heard it so many times and got that mommy mm. bulge and they're not pregnant. That drives women crazy. Sometimes it's got the, the vacation they're coming up or the family reu- reunion and they're going to Maui 
or they're going to the Caribbean and they're so tired of wearing a one piece. Sometimes it's the wedding or the reunion and they want to wear that gown because they want to uh, wear a dress that they can't wear. There are a lot of trigger points. Like Sometimes they again. finally got the money. Sometimes they've got a bonus or a raise. The husband wants to do something for himself. He wants to, I was a kid about the, bra the bass boat. You know, he, he's got his motorcycle, his, whatever it is he wants to buy. And she says, hey, what about my tummy? I gave you these beautiful kids. Now I want my, my body back. I'm so. so surprised that you say that these, these husbands are like, uh, try to talk them out of it. Like, I don't like, like that the money them. That the money is better spent on something else. They want their, some do, you They say. want their wives to have the hot bod. I'm not saying that they're not interested, but a lot of them think mistakenly that if they just go to the gym, if they just work harder, if they just diet and exercise, their tummies will go back to where they were before the babies. They don't get it. They just don't get it. I don't mean to suggest they don't want their wives having hot bodies or that they're insensitive. They're just misinformed. Okay, Dra back to this drainless procedure. Yeah, that's okay. a hot topic. Is I want to talk about that. So, so in a way, it's, it's lower downtime. Mm -hmm. It's less discomfort and hassle for the patient. Yeah, correct. I guess they could probably go to back to work sooner or no? It's just they could wear tighter clothing sooner. Yeah, it, it, they're not going to back to work faster, but they, their clothing alternatives are improved. They're not hiding the drains. They're not hiding the bulbs. Uh, they're not in, living in fear of removing the drains. They're not coming in for so many post-operative visits. There's one. You know, when we have the drains, they come in and we measure how much the drainage is putting out. And when it gets to a certain level, we remove it. Sometimes it can be 10 to 14 days. Usually it's about a week, but it can sometimes be longer. Also, I mentioned I have patients from out of town. I've had patients, thankfully, from 63 countries and all 50 United States. And I send them to LAX to fly home. And now that I don't have drains to worry about, I can send them home earlier. Now, you've done... A lot of these. Thousands. Right? So you're probably pretty fast. Oh, I hate this. that word. Oh, you, you do? say fast? I hate that word. I don't allow any four-letter words with F. No F four-letter words oh, in yeah. my OR anywhere around me. I hate that word you just said. I'm not even going to repeat it. <laughs> because what? It implies, it implies like sloppy, sloppy work? Okay. I can't stand it. I hear that all the time. But are you faster than most guys at doing the procedure? I hate that word. I'm very so efficient. Talk I'm about very it. efficient. I've done this a lot. I don't dilly-dally. I know what I'm going to do. I make my plan. I, have, I teach the residents something. I say prior preparation precludes poor performance. We have to have the plan. It's an artistic plan. I plan it like planning a beautiful drawing, a painting on the patient, and then I execute it. There's nothing, to use your word, fast about it. It's very methodical. It's like a, it's like a beautiful play. It plays out. It's orchestrated. And it starts at the beginning and it ends. And when we look up at the clock then, I'm not in a hurry, but it is very efficient. And that's how we can do the mommy makeovers, combining breast surgery with the tummy tucks. Because I'll start with the breast. I'll do the breast lift or the breast reduction. And I'll come down and do the tummy tuck and the little lipo sculpture. And we're done in three hours. And that's the typical time for the whole mommy makeover. For a tummy tuck, it's hour and a half to two hours now done. men just a second on men i mean after weight loss massa or a lot of weight loss are, are men doing this or men not? are doing tummy tucks for two reasons uh, usually it's massive weight loss they're obviously not having pregnancies right okay but if we have the the massive weight loss patient who loses weight a lot of weight 50 to 150 pounds they've got extra skin and we'll do a whole body lift we'll go all the way around them uh, to get them back together. And that's true of women, too, that lose the weight. Now, I know you brought some photos, but people, and people always you know, visit our website, and, and they ask us for referrals. And we're not a referral site, but I always say, look at their work. Yes. You're one of these guys that has a lot of Well, we have a number photos. of websites, and we have websites just dealing with tummy tucks. And, and as you can see, and we have thousands of pictures. You know, I've been doing this a long time, and we have wonderful patients who have allowed us to show their pictures online and I would encourage your viewers to go on our website and look at them. Look at our before and after shots and come in and see me, see our nurses and see if we can help you with it. So it doesn't cost more to go really to, no. to a guy at the top of his game. Well, now you can always pay less for an inferior product. We don't compete on price. So if that's the only thing a person's But everybody's about, about the same. I mean, yeah, is that, people is are that pretty close. Yeah. yeah, there's a range. Because you're going to have that abdomen for another 30, 40 years looking in the mirror. You might as well go it's to somebody. It's the best that... investment they can make. 
You They're not going to get up in the morning and say, I can't put on that blouse or I can't tuck it in. Or, oh, I wish I could wear that little skirt that I used to wear or the dress. And I hear this over and over and over. They finally can wear the clothes they wanted to wear, do the things they wanted to do. I mean, a flat stomach, nobody disagrees with this, is sexy. Oh, God, yes. And it's youthful. It's not only sex, sexy, but it's youthful. When you have a big, fat tummy, you look older. Interesting. Okay, good. Okay, you brought photos. Sure. Okay. Here's a lovely woman who's had two or three kids, and uh, she had a cesarean section. She's worked out like crazy, but couldn't get rid of this bulge and couldn't get rid of the fat. And you can see now she has a flat tummy, right? And look at that beautiful hourglass figure. Look how low the incision is. She's got a sexy low bikini. Yeah. There you go. So, so by the way, just so I understand this correct, so, sure. so that fat is like cut off? It's history. How much fat have you ever taken off at one time in pounds? I once imagine? had a woman who, had, who was very obese, though, and she lost a lot of weight. She lost 60 pounds in one procedure, but that's ridiculous. Most are about 5 to 10. Of, real, of, of pure fat. Fat and skin. Fat and skin in this lady. Okay, so that, I mean, that's... That's stomach. about 5 to 10 pounds. Okay. Here's another woman, and you can see she had a previous incision that ran from her belly button to her pubic area. See how it's vertical? You know, most cesarean sections are horizontal, and they call them bikini incisions. This woman had a, what's called a crash cesarean section. She, her baby was in distress. And so they did an incision from her belly button to her pubic area. So she had to live with that very visible, ugly scar. She also had a heavy abdomen. You can see right here in lateral view. By doing a tummy tuck and removing the extra skin and fat, I also removed that old scar. So she got rid of that old scar entirely so not only did this improve the appearance of her abdomen but think about it randy her whole life changed getting in and out of a car going out shopping with friends feeling confident being around her husband being intimate it's not just about her tummy it's about her brain it's about her quality of life it's about her mobility through life can you imagine walking around with this versus this she's hauling around a sack of potatoes here at least maybe two or three here they're gone She's light on her feet, she's airy, she's sexy, she's skinny, she's confident. This is life-changing stuff, Randy. Do they think they're too far gone sometimes? Like say, say, Doc, I, you know, can you even help me? I do have that. I have women that come in and say, is there anything you do for me? I hear that sometimes when I'm taking care of the daughter and the mother says, I'm too old for this, aren't I? And I'll say, well, I did my mom when she was 72, which I did. Or they'll say, uh, have you ever seen this much? And I say, I've seen a lot more than that. Let me look at you. And it's usually I'm taking care of the daughter. I pick, you know, check out the mom. And then I encourage her to consider it. Here's another thing. And I had somebody say this. That if you're going to get liposuction, and I know your center does liposuction, mm -hmm. that you should go to somebody that does both liposuction and tummy tuck so you get an, a fair evaluation. Give me your thoughts on that. Well, I would agree with that. I don't think you want to go someplace where they have a hammer and the whole world looks like a nail. You want to go to a comprehensive board-certified plastic surgeon such as myself who can offer tummy tucks or liposuction or both. Frankly, it's a rare tummy tuck in whom I don't do liposuction at the same time at the end of sculpture and contour. Now, if you only do liposuction on somebody who needs a tummy tuck, you're going to have a terrible looking tummy. Does that happen? It happens all the time. There are people that offer women liposuction that should be having a tummy tuck. And so what do they get? The fat goes away. The skin doesn't go away. And so the skin sags more. They look like a bad weight loss patient. It's, it, they look like a Sharpe dog. It looks terrible. So then they come in to see me and they say, I had liposuction, but look, it didn't work. And I say, it worked. But you have extra skin. You need it removed. And sometimes the muscles die. So they do that because they're afraid of the incisions. Right? Afraid of the, the incisions scarring. or you, the expense. You Some, could put them low. Oh, yeah. We hide really the low. incisions down in a bikini line, right in the pubic area. No drains. No drains. Because I had, you know, I, I did talk to a plastic surgeon about this. And said, sure. I don't know about the no drains. So they are skeptical. Mm -hmm. Even when you lecture to other plastic surgeons? They're very skeptical. And I was skeptical at first also. I want you to know, when I first heard about it, I thought, oh, come on. That can't work. And sure enough, it does. It works very well. We're short on time. You have more photos. What else are we looking at? So one more? Can I share yeah. one more with yeah. you? I love this one. Let me find her. Ah, perfect. You know, sometimes women come to see me after a divorce or maybe their husband's passed away and they've really lost some confidence. They've got the kids. They're alone. They're single moms. 
And frankly, I'm a sensitive kind of guy. And uh, when they give me those stories, I really want to just crush it, knock the ball out of the park. And this is one such woman. She came in, three kids, cesarean section, single. Uh, she, her breasts were saggy, a little bit large. Tummy looked terrible. She needed to pick me up. She really wanted a shot in the arm, some confidence. I did the tummy tuck on her, just like we've been talking about. Mm -hmm. Drainless tummy tuck, no scars really from stitches, very low incision. She said to me, I'll never wear a two-piece. I'll never get another person. She was on the dating scene, lost all of her confidence. I'm happy to tell you, in a bikini, as you can see, flat tummy, great breasts, has a new guy, a complete success story, but for us doing that tummy tuck and her breast surgery at the same time, she still would be sitting at home without the confidence. And I love doing this. Wow, this is where I mean, that we is, change lives. That's like an extreme makeover. It is. It's fantastic. And we operate on her body, but changed her confidence between her ears. Here, she gets herself somebody she's much, she's very happy with. She's got a partner now, and she wears her two piece. As you can see, look at her tan line. She's over the moon happy. On that before photo. That abdomen yes. looks very unusual. Is that unusual? That's not unusual at all. It may look unusual to you, Randy, as a guy, but I'm telling you, that's a very typical abdomen of a woman who's had three children. They just hide it from you. Okay. They, they don't tuck in their blouses. They're hiding it from you. These women are, are everywhere. So when it's all done, because I mean, this, this really is dramatic. We can't show the breast. What does she say to you? She says, Do they ever want to hug you or they anything like that? They hug me. I'm a hugger. I am a <laughs> hugger. And they hug me. And my patients have been with me for years, as I mentioned, and uh, a lot of hugs and a few tears. Let me show you this next lady. You okay. can see here she's had a couple of kids. She has the mommy tummy, extra skin, extra fat. We do a tummy tuck and put her in a skimpy little bikini. You can't see any, any scars at all. She's in a tiny little bikini. She looks like an athlete. Yes, she does. That, I mean, that abdomen. She went from good. a middle-aged, kind of saggy mommy tummy to a hot-looking athlete with a skimpy little bikini, you know, how good can it get? But I gotta tell you, Randy, forget the bikini, it's how she walks into a room in a dress with her confidence, that beautiful line of her hot, uh, skimpy little black dress, that's where it really, it sizzles. You like this stuff, by the way. It's like you're showing me baby pictures, <laughs> almost. <laughs> these are my babies. I mean, you're very proud of these I uh, am, I am, results. I love this stuff. I love doing it. We're transforming lives in the marina every day and making friends. In my green room, you said, Randy, it's not about the money. No, it's not about the money at all. I teach, uh, spend a lot of time with people. You know, Randy, I could stop doing this tomorrow. And you love it. I love and, it. and you're an early riser. I, I, I had a guy, a well-known doctor, he says to me, plastic surgeon, uh, Dr. Handel, says, Randy, he goes, this guy, Dr. Grant Stevens, is a like superhuman. He goes... I get out of bed and go to work and he's already done two surgeries. <laughs> That's the word on the street, yeah. We used to start at five in the morning. I let oh, my staff right? start a little later now, six. But uh, I get up very early in the morning, do a lot of my emails and do a lot of my work and I get ready. I'm excited to come in and do the surgery. Now, we haven't talked a lot about your credentials, but I mean, you just about everything that we're showing, you teach other plastic surgeons. I sure do. You head up uh, USC's program mm -hmm. and you, you publish articles and I mean you've and invented textbooks. and you've invented a lot of these new new techniques. Yes. Is that, is that right? That's correct. What, what why why is that? I mean you're always looking for a better way? I'm trying to figure out how to do it. Some guys better. never publish anything. It's just not their thing. Why is it your thing? Well I love to educate, love to teach. Okay. I come from a family of educators. Uh, my whole family, everybody seems to be a teacher or a principal or something. I grew up here in Southern California. Uh, I love to teach. I like to invent. I'm trying to make it more efficient. I'm trying to make the outcomes better uh, and easier, easier on people for that matter. Are your results that much better today than they were 10 years ago? And if so, why? Our results are better now than 10 years ago, but more importantly, our recovery is easier um, and, and the amount of pain is less. I think our results are much better than they were 20 years ago and somewhat better than 10 years ago, but the process is easier. We've eliminated the drains. We've eliminated the stitches. We have early ambulation and up and, and, and at them and so forth. And so the recoveries are much abbreviated. Uh, and we're combining surgery. We didn't used to do that, but now we figured out how to safely combine breast and body, breast and face, breast, face and body, and so forth. Now you also do that freezing fat 
right? Yeah. You, you said that, I invented freeze the fat. And I've interviewed about that, but you say some people that you would have done a tummy tuck on in the old days. Yeah, that's amazing, isn't it? You, mini tummy tuck. You, you would have done a mini tuck, tummy tuck now by, you could flatten out their stomach with? With cool sculpting. Yep, we can do cool sculpting and it tightens the skin and gets rid of the fat. And once we've done the cool sculpting, we treat it with the Z-Wave or Zimmer and that takes down the fat, tightens the skin, and we can do that. Not when a person needs a full tummy tuck though. Now, when we, on the consult, do you, do you recommend they bring their partner if they have one? I'm always happier when they have their partner, but if they don't bring the partner to the first consult, I ask to please bring the partner at the preoperative consult. I see every patient twice before surgery. Here's another thing. What's you that? told me that their partners will come in on mm -hmm. the consult sometimes mm -hmm. and say, why not just go to the gym? Oh, yeah. Why not just work it off at the gym? <laughs> That's a real common one. We'll get what the do you say to that? Well, first of all, the husbands will say, you know, honey, I want my bass boat, and we don't need to be buying you your tummy tuck. Uh, <laughs> And they'll say, just go to the gym, get a gym membership, lose weight, and you'll get a flat tummy. And guys don't get it. It's not just about losing weight. Your wife or your girlfriend can lose weight, but you're going to have extra skin because that skin was there to make room for the baby. Hmm. And okay. the muscles stretch, stretch out, and there's no gym and there's no trainer who can make skin go away. And frankly, you can't move muscles back to the middle either. So if you have extra skin, if you have a blown out abdominal wall, if those muscles of your abdomen are spread, you're going to need a tummy tuck if you want a flat stomach. Now, I'm not saying tummy tucks are for everybody. Some people want to live the rest of their life in one-piece bathing suit and a big, paunchy tummy. But most people don't want that. These tummy tuck uh, patients, what is the guy, is the guy uncomfortable? Or do they ask you a lot of questions? You know, that's all different. Some guys are very quiet and they listen. Some guys are very animated. They've done their research online and they ask me a lot of questions. Some guys grill me and they try to impress their, their uh, spouses, I think, of the, that they know it all. But guys come in all different forms. Do they ever say, I've seen you in all the magazines? Oh, yeah, I've heard that. I see you every time I fly in the airlines. I get that all the time. In fact, somebody, you told me, somebody walked up to you and said, hey, are, are you Grant Stevens? My wife, I think, has a picture of you is that right? On their, on, their, uh, on their refrigerator. I hear that all the time. Just to remind them to, to, to call come you. and see me. Yeah. Look, we're out of time. I want to thank you so much for coming on the program. Thank so you for having me. So when should somebody get a tummy tuck? Whenever they're bothered by their abdomen enough and after they've had their kids. Okay, good. Thanks again for coming on the show. Great stuff. You've been watching The Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.